Welcome to an episode of Mike Mags TV, where today I'm going to show you the tools that I use to create good backyard barbecue. All right, so one of the first tools I need to discuss is the basic tongs right here. And the reason why we even want to discuss it so much, it sounds so basic, is because these tongs are only used to handle the hot charcoal or even just the cold charcoal, putting it into your um, trays and stuff like that, or in your grill. So again, you can find these cheap on the clearance rack at Walmart for a dollar. So usually about, you know, once a season, I'll either pick up a new one. And these are just for, not handling meat, just for the charcoal. And again, you can find these really, really simple and easy. All right, so the next item we have here in my toolbox is charcoal trays. Okay, and what these are used for is you put charcoal in here, hot charcoal, and you put it to the side on your grill and you use them for indirect cooking, okay? And I'll show you later how we actually use these. Again, these are made by Weber and uh, you can get them pretty inexpensively off of Amazon or you can find them at your Lowe's or Home Depot box stores. Okay, the next item here is a rib rack. Okay, there's a, there's a couple different kinds, but this one, I think, believe this one's Weber. Um, and there, the way I use this rib rack is normally I, when I smoke ribs on my grill, um, you know, they'll come fairly long. So what I'll do is I'll cut them in half and you can stack them in these grooves right here. Okay. And then you can put them in the grill offset from like your, your charcoal tray. So this is a rib rack and this is what I use that for all right the next uh item we have here is a chicken beer can chicken rack okay and how this is uh used is that obviously you set this onto your grill you put you can put two small chickens on here and you put cans of, of beer or whatever kind of liquid you want to use to um help uh get the chicken moist while it cooks and in another video i'll show you exactly show you how i use this um with my beer can chicken. Okay, so the next items here to show you are the types of wood chunks I use. And also here's some chips as an example. So let me talk about the wood chunks first because this is what I prefer to use. They're very easy. Um, again, you can get these at your box store. This one is apple wood. And you know, they, they come chunks like this. And this is what you put into your, uh, on top of your charcoal when you're smoking meats and um, again I'll show you how we use this later in another video but this one happens to be apple this one's hickory I don't prefer mesquite but that's just my, by my taste you can find mesquite bags okay so the same thing they all come you know like chunks like this and then just to talk for a second you know why you know what is the difference between the chips you know there's other types of like different smoking trays you can put chips in and stuff like that um, the only reason I don't prefer to use chips is because first of all, they burn through very quickly. And then secondly, um, yeah, so that would make you keep coming back out to your grill and constantly changing it if you kept using it. But what it is good for is let's say you were doing grilling and you were like doing some pork chops and you just want to throw, sprinkle some of these on your charcoals when you're grilling something, you want a little more smoky flavor. These are good to throw on there. I wouldn't throw a whole chunk on for just grilling. So these are the types of wood I'm, I'm using for my smoke. Another trusty tool to have is a, some type of a thermometer. And the thermometer is just a meat thermometer. You know, it's not very fancy, expensive, you know, one of the puncture ones and has the dial right here. Um, I use this because it's, it's inexpensive and it's cheap and I've gotten used to using this for all the types of uh, meats that I cook. Um, you can find very expensive ones that have Wi-Fi, it goes to your phone. I haven't purchased one of those yet and I haven't needed one yet. Um, yeah, I'd love to have one, but right now I use the simple. You can find this at your grocery store, find it at your box stores. Again, just a simple thermometer. All right, the last item or tool item I have to discuss is the uh, charcoal starter. Uh, some people call it like a stove type chimney starter okay this one is made by uh, Weber okay again pick up at your box stores I use this all the time and and the reason is and I'm going to show you how I use it real quick 
is because a lot of people use like a lighter fluid to start their charcoal. However, that sometimes put a bad taste into your, your food. So what this does is you put your charcoal on top. There's a, there's a grill stop in there. Put your charcoal on top and you put like some newspaper or some type of paper underneath and you use paper and um, to light it and then it'll evenly uh, distribute and get all your charcoals all nice and hot and ready and then you pour this into your into your grill so again another important item that i use and that's the um, charcoal starter all right so now we're here at the grill and this is what i've been using for the past five years believe it or not it's a 22 inch weber kettle okay and some people are like, wow, how can you make good, you know, barbecue on there? Well, as I showed you earlier, I showed you some of the tools I can uh, I use to actually make good barbecue. And you know, this thing's gonna look dirty. It's gonna, you know, it is dirty. It's because I've been using it constantly for my grilling, for my smoking, for everything. And yeah, it's probably due for another one. But I have this down dialed in just the way I like it, and I can know consistently how to make good barbecue. So First, before I get into the barbecue, I want to show you again real quick. I use the Kingsford uh, charcoal and all my grilling. I mean, there's so many different types of charcoal. You can get lump charcoal, lump wood, whatever. But I always use the basic Kingsford, Kingsford. So let's just talk a little bit about the grill. And again, it looks dirty, it looks used, but in, in the biz, we can say that's seasoned. You know, you want, any type you even if you buy a new grill tomorrow you want to get a season you know run it with some charcoal run it with some wood in there you know you want to get that stuff in here and it, you know it looks dirty looks used but trust me that's better for the flavor of your of your cooking so the first part again i said this is a 22 inch one thing that's important about this upgrade on the on the grill grate this grill does not come with it comes like a basic 22 inch grill but what's noticeable is that I have a hinged sides and I'm gonna show you why in, in a quick second here, okay? So again, these are hinged. You can buy these separately as an, uh, in the, you know, like Lowe's or the box stores. And the point of that is that if you can see down in here, we have charcoal trays, okay? We talked about that earlier. We put the charcoal in here and we keep it aside. And what's nice about these grill uh, grates with the hinges is that if you need to change out your or add more uh, charcoal or wood, then you would put that, you know, use your tongs and lift that in. So let me grab my tongs real quick. That's why these are only for this type of stuff. You'd be doing this, you know, put some more stuff in here, pulls it up, and then, you can, and then your meat would be over here. So I'm gonna take this off and show you a little bit inside again. So I noticed we have a water pan in here or a drip pan. You can find these again at the, at the local grocery store. And what I use that for is to help keep the moisture and the smoke and the grill at a high point because it, in theory, it's supposed to help keep your meat moist during the cook. So I use these trays and I always put them in the middle and put hot water in them and that's supposed to help. Again, in another video, I'll show you how I actually, you know, fill these up and how it's finally set. Now, what's interesting about the grill too, mine, you know, has, has um, if you look down in, in there, it does have vents in there, but this, this grill is so old, the vents are even gone. So I've just gotten so used to how this cooks, how fast it goes, and I don't even need the grill. Um, vents down there out of all the accessories we talked about today or you know all the tools that i use you don't even need them in theory you know most of them you don't even need them except maybe the, obviously the charcoal and some uh, chunks of uh, wood for the smoke you can create your own you could put charcoal on the side of this grill versus you know in a tray and you can still create an offset type of indirect cooking so, All right, so we talked about the grill setup and we talked about the tools that I use to create good barbecue. If you learned something today, please leave, please leave a thumbs up. Um, if you have more questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And 
look forward to more episodes where we actually go more in depth on the different cooks that I do and we'll maybe make some good barbecue together. Thanks for joining me.